So very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so today's video I'm going to use a simple hit and run rules and as you can see today it is obvious that this is a live account and I decided to show the number the reason is this uh, this account number I'm going to delete anyway very soon I think tonight I will delete it so it's okay for me to show the number to the public I don't care really so that's why uh, today's video we can show that this is live account which is really frustrating for me because I know that there are some doubters who keep thinking I'm trading my live uh, trading videos on demo account which is really silly so anyway today you can notice that I'm using a bigger loss sizes than you are usually seeing me uh, using um, the reason is I just want to grow this small account it's just $227 and I want to grow this account so let's see what will gonna happen uh, I'm just waiting for this candle to reach this uh, the lowest level of the support right here again uh, this is 30 minute time frame let's see that on the 4 hour chart so on the 4 hour chart we can see that this candle here uh, oh it's yellow all right, so we can see this uh, small wick here representing uh, a support number one and therefore I'm waiting for the candle to reach support number two go back to the 30 minute time frame it's very close to my entry level yes let's get ready for it and I'm just waiting for the right moment for the candle to reach the maximum uh, or the lowest uh, level of the support before I can place the buy order don't ever uh, enter earlier than what you are supposed to do it's very close just waiting for it and come on come on oh that's taking forever um, let me try to see something here maybe that's better level so we can just okay we're talking about like three to four pips only in difference uh, still I just want to be safe because as you know uh, this is the pound Canadian which is very sensitive most likely the can yes most likely the market will continue falling down to the lower support lo lowest level of the support before start reversing now of course since I'm using the bigger lot size I'm just after the bouncing from the support level now again I'm not expecting for the market to I'm not expecting for the market to fly up here to hit this uh, resistance right here no maybe it will go down actually however I'm just after the bouncing the like the the reaction of the touch of the support level on the candles that is what's going to give me the profits that I am seeking all right let me just save your time I will pause the recording and I'll be back to you once I open the trade so you can see the candle almost approaching my entry level and you can see I also reduced the lot size and that's fine yeah enough of waiting uh, by the way this is a standard account as you can see um, I just sometimes uh, when I want to make some decent profit more than um, a few bucks I can just use my standard account and I can get even more profits so this is a commission free and you can see uh, the trigger area was right on the level so that is also one good benefit of using uh, IC markets look at that even the spread on all of the pairs is not even higher than 1.4 I think maximum 1.8 this is the highest for the pound AUD so we can see I'm already in good profit and that is what I'm talking about I'm just after this this small bounce here that is what I'm that is what I'm talking about only a small bounce get this bounce here get some decent profit and get out of the market with good profit for your small account so we can see right now we are on 15 16 pips of, uh, dollars of profit 20 that's fine right for the small account here uh, how many pips was that six pips only so using the small account here like that you need actually to know exactly where you are going to place your trade uh, don't ever get greedy because if you are waiting for the market to continue flying more up you are putting yourself on the risk of losing the trade the market guys the market usually 
98% of the times bouncing on these levels if you check the history for example let me try maybe maybe let me try maybe I can find a good example here if I'm lucky enough to be honest I swear I didn't check uh, this before recording let me check something here so we have here a support number one look here we can see the the breakout happened right okay but let's see deeper there was a bouncing or not let's go to the one minute time frame okay that's not good hold on 30 minutes again uh, let me just mark this level here so I can know where I'm looking in the smaller time frames so this is where we need to focus at let's go to the five minute time frame and uh, seems something is wrong actually it's not okay I'm not able to find if uh, this level had a bouncing here on I think this is not yet completed it is still loading uh, let's just wait for it I will pause the, the video just to save your time all right so here it is on the one minute time frame so again on 30 minutes time frame here it is and you are assuming when you are looking at the history you are assuming oh no man if I place my buy order here I would have lost the trade now go to the one minute time frame look at that that is what I'm talking about look at this bounce here the market oh, actually right here yes look at this the market bounced once it touched this level and it fly up for about seven almost seven pips that is what I'm talking about exit the trade with only a few pips uh, which can give you a decent amount of profit and then exit your trade now going against your direction or if you see the candle going against your direction is another story we will talk about it in the next trade so let me now pause the recording and I'll be back to you my friends to show you when I opening the next trade all right now let's take a look at that on the four hour time frame we can see that here we had a support level and this support level seems to be keeping its uh, level as a support let's go now to the smaller time frame let's go to the 30 minute time frame we can see the candle is still reversing let's go to the five minute time frame we can see that we are still on the bounce which actually uh, still happening right now so is it really convenient to open the trade right now let's see if I open the trade at the lowest level of the support I can get only three pips of profit which is really not worth the waiting so therefore just to be safe I'm going to ignore this setup always wait for the right and best moment to place your trade don't rush at all you still have the whole time I mean if even if you missed one good entry don't feel sorry for it because more and more and more entries are coming the forex market is here we are here nobody's going anywhere so we will enter the next opportunity even if it's gonna take some time to cure so I'm just right now checking the candles one by the pairs one by one hoping to find something uh, decent uh, that can give me the profit I'm seeking look at this one the one I have uh, exit earlier uh, we could have exit with 15 pips of profit however don't ever don't ever feel sorry because you exit with the profit remember it could have been worse it could have been uh, went against your direction and you can actually say instead of sorry you can be thankful because you exit your trade uh, without greediness at the right moment okay uh, I need to pause the recording right now and I'll be back to you my friends to show you the next trade once I find it all right let's check it out on the four hour chart I can see the cat JPY right now on here a resistance number one and right now the market is on a resistance number two uh, I need to do it quickly guys so a 30 minute time frame we can see very simple uh, we had here also a resistance by the way so this is resistance number one and this is resistance number two therefore entering resistance number three as you all know already is a big no so actually what I'm going to I'm, what I'm showing you in this video right now is the reason to ignore so many setups you think it's valid however actually it is not and it's my uh, duty to show you the reason why we are evo avoiding these setups this can actually save a lot of traders from failed setups that is the reason you are watching this video my friends to learn how we can do scalping using this strategy so still looking still searching here and there still cannot find anything worth uh, entering 
So let me now pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you when I open the next trade. Alright, so finally we found something good. <coughs> we can see here that we have a support number one on the Euro, uh, Euro AUD. A very simple hit and run strategy rules here. We can see the support number one right here and we are waiting to enter on support number two. Now, before entering, just be sure how much pips you are looking for. So let me see. We are looking for approximately four pips. The reason is if I enter the bouncing right on the support level, I can expect for the candle to keep flying all the way up until the nearest support, which is right here. Remember we are on, we are on the 30 minute time frame. So even this week here can be considered as a support. It's very important to be careful where you are placing your trade and where you are exiting your trade as well. <clears throat> so I'm just waiting for the right moment to place my trade. Hoping this candle will keep going a little bit more down for just one pip more. And that's it. That's totally fine. Uh, with only 1.1 pip spread, that's totally good trade. We can now wait for the bouncing to happen. And again, I will set my tech profit to be just right here. So almost like $10 of profit. Now, of course, the big question, what if this trade goes against you? you will lose a lot more than you will earn. Now, actually, you are quite right. You are right. Um, the, the winning ratio for this strategy is very high. I would say it's more than 85% to 90% of the times if you know what you are doing. Now, the thing is, if you are having higher winning ratio than losing, then one loss can be recovered with approximately uh, one or two uh, trades. <clears throat> Sometimes what's happening is when I'm losing a trade, I just wait for a better moment. I just use that 20 pips a day strategy to recover the losses and there and increasing the lot size. And this way I can easily recover the losses. We can see that th this is the bounce I'm talking about. Just close it. The reason I closed it because I really don't feel uh, good about this trade. I feel like it will continue to fall more down. That's why I just closed it uh, very quickly. What I'm trying to explain here again, guys, is just we want this bouncing. <clears throat> That's why setting a tech profit level is just uh, I'm doing it only for the for the video thing, only for recording on YouTube. But I actually I never set tech profit level. I just keep watching the trade by myself and <clears throat> uh, close it manually when I feel that it is the right moment to close the trade. So two trades we have uh, done so far, uh, still doing good. I mean. The first trade was good profit. The next one was not really worth uh, the waiting, only for four dollars. That's not really worth anything at all. Um, it's just not really easy to find anything <coughs> uh, at the, on the market uh, at the moment. I'm just hoping to find something uh, quickly because uh, I don't want to make this video so long. I know uh, some people not even watching the whole thing at all. So let's see. Uh, guys, allow me to pause the recording and I'll be back to you later once I find another setup. Uh, please forgive me, my friends. I really wanted to make uh, a better live trading video than this. However, uh, there are not much setups uh, to be found on the market. Plus, uh, something occurred, uh, something happened. I really need to leave now. I need to stop the recording. Uh, really sorry about that. Hopefully, the next live trading video will be much better. I just hope in this live trading video, you got the idea about how to use uh, uh, the bouncing of the setups, how we can chase these bounces, which are giving us the profits we are really seeking um, and how we can use uh, the scalping uh, trades with the hit and run strategy. Again, uh, hopefully the next video will be much better and more educative than that. However, uh, in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.